It's hard to imagine more anxiety-ridden decisions than those for parents with a seriously ill child. Last month, we showed you the controversial choices two Ontario families made for their daughters, treating leukemia at a Florida massage clinic. Tonight, we confront its angry owner, the man in whom they and hundreds of others place the ultimate trust. The CBC's Connie Walker has the details. Yeah, I don't want to give anyone false hope. Stephen Pugh used to work as a nurse at the Hippocrates Health Institute. His bosses were Brian and Anna Maria Clement. We actually visualize... Literally. Pugh says they aren't medical doctors, but sure act like it. Everyone got an appointment with Dr. Anna Maria Clement and Dr. Brian Clement. So everyone got to see the doctors. So did you saw them prescribe medication to clients? On a daily basis daily basis. Not only prescribe, but actually cancel the physician's orders and advise them to take something totally different. What is the danger in that? Death. We've had more people reverse cancer than any institute in the history of health care. Claims like this convinced this Canadian mother, whose identity is protected by a publication ban, to bring her daughter to his spa to treat her leukemia. By him saying, oh yes, no problem, we can help her, that, that's the day I, I stopped the chemo. They would use the words cure, we're going to cure your illness. That didn't sit well with Pew. He spoke out and says he was fired for it. Now he and two other former co-workers are suing Hippocrates Health Institute, alleging they were let go for complaining the Institute practices medicine without a license. We wanted to speak to Brian Clement. He had refused our repeated requests for an interview. Excuse me. Dr. Clement? So we went to see him at his spa and could never have predicted what would happen next. I'd like to ask you about allegations you're practicing medicine without a license. Well, I don't know where you come up with that idea. We've heard from several employees who claim that you're practicing medicine without a license and treating children with cancer. We don't treat anyone here. We spoke to a mother whose daughter has leukemia and she says that you, you told her that it's not difficult to deal with. I didn't say that. What did you say to her? You're ridiculous. People pay a lot of money and have a lot of hopes in the treatments you're providing here. Do you feel any responsibility? You should feel responsibility. What do you do here? We educate. You're a liar, you're part of the system. You better learn something before you what make system? allegations. What system are we part of? You're part of the system of deception. How do you help somebody treat leukemia? Get out of here. Well, How about the tens of you? thousands of people who have been here for the last 60 years? Can you give us some names of people that you've helped? Get in the car. You can get on the internet. That's where you get most of your information from. Please don't touch me. Get off my property. Don't touch off me. Off my property. I'm getting off your property. Right now. Off the property. Liar. Well, it's a pretty intense scene. Connie's back here now in Toronto. What do we know about the other Canadians who've gone there? Well, it appears to be very popular with Canadians. Pew says that at times up to a third of the patients that he treated at Hippocrates were from Canada. And we know that Brian Clement has travelled extensively in Canada within the last year and given at least 19 different talks in towns and cities across the country. Now, you told us the story last month about those uh, two young children. What do we know now on them? Well, the girl that you saw in the video, she's still being treated by Clement, even though she's back at home. She was set to send her blood work to the clinic uh, earlier this month. Um, and Michaela Salt, who we've told you about, uh, attended Hippocrates in July. And in the fall, uh, McMaster doctor testified that she has suffered a relapse. And as you mentioned, we reported that she was hospitalized last month. I heard from her parents today. They say that she is home and they maintain that she is healed. All right. Connie, it's quite a story.